So for the optimistic cynic guy Shit, ho got a hell of a grip It's never a problem till niggas is piling and bitches they all Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy J Rob four four seven back at it again with some NCAA football fourteen Buffalo Bulls dynasty. And I know I haven't made a video in a long time, but it's been backed up with a lot of work. So we're back at it again, we're playing the Auburn Tigers. They're a very good team, as you guys can see, ranked number nineteenth in the nation. So this game will definitely not be easy. Uh, you guys also saw when we played Boise State that game wasn't easy as either and we're on another road game we only have five home games this year so we're definitely gonna have to be some road warriors if we want to get some notoriety honestly i think this is going to be a good game coming up auburn they're going to put up a fight but we're also going to put up a fight willie white he's out there for the coin toss we pick heads and we do win the coin toss so i say you know what let's kick it let's kick it you know i usually don't kick it because i like having the ball but i'm gonna say let's kick it so tennis jones He's going to boot this one away, and it is going pretty deep. Three yards deep. Hey, that's something. But Slayton's going to take it three yards deep, and he's taking this one pretty long. Breaks the tackle, and he's going to get all the way to the 44-yard line for a 46-yard return. That was pretty damn good. We have to do better on our uh, kickoff coverage. So, first down and 10 for the Tigers. They're going to hand it off to Johnson, and Johnson picks up eight yards on that rush to make it second and two. So on a second and two, White is going to take the handoff, breaks a tackle, and barely gets the first down. So on a third and seven, the Tigers, they do not get the first down as that was a completion to Hakeem Robinson. So it's going to be fourth and five, but we did not do anything with the ball. So the Tigers do get the ball back, and they're in plus territory. So first down and ten, White drops back to pass, finds his receiver, for the first down, JT Brown, the Auburn Tigers, they're moving the ball pretty well. And White, he can run, and he's got some wheels as he picks up the first. Sean White, ha, huh, that's funny. That's funny. That used to be, that was actually, no, actually that wasn't one of my counselors' names, but that is the name of a popular skateboarder and snowboarder, if you guys do not know. And Johnson punches this one in for the touchdown, making it a 6 nothing ball game with 129 left in the first quarter. So... You gotta see Tyree Jackson back there in the shotgun. He's gonna run a little read option, and he only picks up two yards on that one, making it second and eight. Now Chris Merchant back there in the shotgun. J.R. Zaza is gonna be the man coming in motion, and the ball is snapped. Merchant's gonna pass, and he finds J.R. Zaza while he was looking to, to him the whole time, and he actually found him. So on a second and eleven, Chris Merchant back there drops back. He's gonna pass this one to Rogers, and Rogers holds on to that one as he got walloped right there. So on the third and one, we're going to hand it off to Hopkins. But Hopkins gets stuffed by that Auburn defense. So it's going to be fourth and two as we go into the second quarter. So Ulysses McDonald dropping back the pass. Throws a pick to McBride. And that is what we were not looking for. So this means that Auburn is going to have the ball yet again in plus territory. So there is Sean White and Johnson back there in the backfield. They were a little offset. No, that is actually Queen who's back there. I guess Sean White got injured on one of the plays. I'm not sure, but Queen, he's still back there. They're still running their same offense. It doesn't matter what personnel they have. They're still going to run their offense. Tyler Queen picks up a six-yard rush, making it second and four. And now Tyler Queen, he's going to take the carry again, picks up a first down. we got to get better at defending read options. But in this game, it's very hard to defend read options. Uh, you can change the settings, but I've looked at plenty of videos how to stop it. Because, you know, we used to play Navy a lot. Navy, that's all they run is fucking options. And that's one thing that's hard to stop. And we 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 stopped the option right there. Because if you'd have pitched it, that would have been a touchdown. So Queen drops back to pass. He's going to find his receiver, Robinson, who gets into the touchdown, making it a 13-0 ball game with 4.56 left in the second quarter. So we have to score because we don't want to let this game get out of hand. So Ulysses McDonald's going to take the carry to the outside and picks up 10 yards on that one, making it second in inches. So McDonald's going to hand it off to Hopkins, who picks up a first down. So we're moving the ball pretty well. So far, so good. Hopefully, I do not jinx it. So another read option. Let's see if they can stop it. They cannot as Hopkins rolls for eight yards on that one, making it second and two. Now Chris Merchant is back there in the shotgun. He's going to throw it up there, but he almost throws a pick. So it's going to be fourth and five. I say, you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go for it. And I find Hopkins, who just gets enough to get the first down. I didn't think he got it, but hey, 
he got the first down. So Merchant rolling out to his right. It's going to find his receiver, J.R. Zazara, for the first down, a 12-yard reception. So with 3.10 left to go, Jackson's going to take the read option this time. And he picks up a first. So, you know, we got we it, things are a little dicey on that fourth down. But after that, we know we're moving the ball. And you list McDonald. He's going to pick up another first down, making it first and 10 at the 10-yard line. So Chris Merchant dropping back the pass, finds Micah Robinson. For the six-yard reception, making it second and four. Tyree Jackson in the game at QB now. He's going to run the read option. He's got some space, and he nearly gets into the end zone with a three-yard rush. So we leave him in. This time, he's going to take it in himself, and he gets into the end zone. Tyree Jackson scores the one-yard touchdown, making it a 6-14 game. So that's what we need to do. We need to put some points on the board, and we definitely did. So with 41 seconds left, we're going to try to do that again. This time, uh, Cam Lewis, he's going to get the reception on this one, picking up 11 yards. Chris Merchant, he's going to be back there, empty set. So he's going to find his man, Cam Lewis, yet again for a 10-yard reception on a third and inches with 28 seconds left. We only have one timeout. So we got to get into field goal range, and he's going to add this one out long to his man, Cam Lewis, yet again for the first down. So with 22 seconds left, we're moving, and Cam Lewis, he's hot. Four receptions on this drive, 19 seconds left, still have our one timeout. Chris Merchant back there to pass on the first down and 10. Finds Jamal Berry for the 15-yard reception. So with seven seconds left, we we, we 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 drove down the field and oh no, we throw an interception in our own red zone. So with three seconds left, Auburn they're gonna try to just run it out and they do in fact run out the clock to go into halftime, leading 14 to seven. So as we go into the second half, we do get the ball back. McDonald, he's going to get it on the read option, and he's going to pick up about eight yards on that one, making it second and two. McDonald's now going to hand it off to Hopkins, and Hopkins picks up three yards on that one. It's pretty damn good if you ask me. So first down to 10, Chris Merchant dropping back to pass yet again, finds Kevin Rogers, who's going to pick up the first down after making a few cuts. So first down and 10 yet again. This time you list McDonald's going to roll out and he's going to find Jamal Berry for the first down who nearly runs over a defender. So second and eight, Tyree Jackson back there to throw. He's going to drop back far and whew, an amazing catch by J.R. Zazara and Tyree Jackson threw that one off his back foot. So we're going to play it safe here. We're just going to run the ball. Wait, I don't want to, I don't want to turn over the ball in our end zone yet again that's something we don't want to do and this time Eric Hopkins gets into the end zone making it a 13-14 ball game and a extra point will tie it up and it is now tied 14 apiece this time Johnson we just can't contain him we can't we can't contain him we can't stop him our defense you know we're blitzing and they still pick up a good amount of yardage it just doesn't make sense to me I don't know what's going on carry on Johnson is having a hell of a day so far so with 637 left to go white back in the game and he's gonna find his man Ryan Davis for the 14 yard reception for a touchdown so with 633 left to go we got all three of our timeouts but I want to score. So JT Burge is back there to return. He got it three yards deep. He's going to take this one up the sideline. And he gets to the 40. That was a 44-yard return right there. That's what we needed. So Tyree Jackson, he's going to just hand this one off to Hopkins, who picks up a good amount of yards. Nine yards on that one, making it second and one. Tyree Jackson this time takes it from his man. And he picks up a good amount of yardage himself. Eight yards on that one. So first down and 10, Chris Merchant, he's just going to hand it off to Hopkins on the counter, and he picks up another big gain. So yet again, we're moving the ball very efficiently with our read options. Now you listen, Donald in the game, he's going to take it out of Hopkins' hands, and oh, he gets upended. But he still stays in the game because, you know, he's tough. He's tough, and a great block on that end. Can McDonald get in? He does. It looks like McDonald scores a 19-yard rushing touchdown, so Sean White has to lead his Tigers to get a comeback. We were once down 14 points, and now we're tied up because the Tigers, they did score, but I just didn't have that footage, and they scored yet again, making it a 28-21 ball game with 231 left to go, so you got to get something done. All right, we need to score. So this time you got to see McDonald takes it for a seven-yard rush. UMAC doing well this game, doing pretty well. 
just not throwing the ball. Running the ball, he's doing a hell of a job. That's all he needs to do because that's what we need him to do. So he picks up nine yards on that one. Second and one, that's what it is. Ulysses McDonald's going to take it out of Hopkins' hands, and he's going to pick up another big game following his blockers. That's what you need to do. So Tyree Jackson, we put him in at quarterback. He's going to roll out to his right. Doesn't see anybody open, so he's just going to get sacked so Chris Merchant back in the game he's gonna roll out to his right and he nearly gets sacked and we turn over the ball that's gonna be the game I we we came so close but Auburn's defense definitely came to play carry on Johnson also came to play you know we got to do a lot better our first loss of the season but it wasn't a away game so hopefully it doesn't hurt us that much we can't turn over the ball we did have three rushing touchdowns though but turning over the ball that will hurt you and we definitely did that cam lewis you know he got hot that one drive but we just couldn't score we we can't turn over the ball and that's something we definitely need to to work on so anyway this has been another j rob video remember to like comment subscribe and peace <laughs>